politicians are just going nuts at each other. I don't get how anything gets done in this country. And Nick here is a psychotherapist and he's going to give us a unique insight into what it's all about. Why do politicians behave so badly? Well, uh, you know, politics is always going to involve competing world views and values. It, that, 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 that's universal. But what goes on in the House of Parliament doesn't go on anywhere else in the world, really, particularly in Europe. And that's because of the unique structure of the House of Commons, which is built in a, in a two-sided adversarial way. It's not a round assembly. It's built to look rather like a public school chapel, which is where the origin of this style comes from. Because in our elite schools, we bred leaders who were taught how to not be vulnerable and how to, to look powerful and look confident and put down the other. And that's the kind of game that gets played again and again and again in the Commons. Okay, so let's put Parliament on the couch. Yeah. You're looking at Parliament and you're saying, okay, yeah. I'm going to deal with your symptoms. Yeah. So, first of all, can you tell me what the symptoms of Parliament are? Yeah, we've got to name the game going on. One is the person who's doing the bullying has various aspects of themselves that they don't want to associate with they want to disidentify it from and in, in psychotherapy we call that dissociation and they have to do with th vulnerable things like being being incompetent having made a mistake uh, not being well informed these sort of things and so it's much easier to say I'm not the incompetent one if you can point to someone and say look the incompetent one is there and that in psychotherapy we call projection so you take this quality of incompetence you dissociate from it and you project it onto the other and you attack them for being that. And that's the basis of bullying and, and that's something we've really taken for granted. So we need to name that game. Is it all doom and gloom? No, I, it, it, I don't think it's doom and gloom. I think we just have to educate ourselves psychologically a bit more. In psychology, we've got all kinds of powerful tools which have not yet penetrated into the political arena. For example, let's say you're bullying me and you're making me feel like the incompetent one. If I've got a bit of psychological awareness, I can point out that there's a game going on and it's actually more hostile than you might be aware of. And I want it to stop. So for example, if Corbyn said to May, after she was giving him a particularly nasty treatment, he might say something on the lines of, do you enjoy being a bully? Which he could do, he could even be bolder. He could even say, yeah, you're right about that. I'm not terribly good at this, but this is what I stand for. See, he can actually be a bit vulnerable yeah. and, and take the sting out of it. That would be, I mean, I, I think that would be incredibly popular. Yeah, I think it would be too. So you should be advising Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, I think Jeremy Corbyn's quite good at it. I think I should probably be advising the others. <laughs>